if and when you are standing in front of a judge and all the emotions are removed and he's reading this text message chain. We all know that right now everything going on is very stressful. And we also know that right now there's a moratorium and we cannot evict tenants. I am personally going through a situation where I've got two properties that I have to, uh, well, one of them, the tenants leaving the other one, I've got to evict the tenants and I've got to evict the tenants, not because they're not paying. It's because they've got like 15 people living in the property. This is part of owning real estate. There's things that you don't do when you have to evict a tenant. You don't take it personal. You don't get emotional. The worst thing you can do is take an emotional stance in a business decision. You don't just start doing things that you know are stupid and could bite you in the end. You don't start text messaging them. You don't go over to the property. They're not paying rent and probably there's damage being done to the property. You know what, you go through the court process and yes, sometimes it sucks. Like right now there's a moratorium. That's the sandbox we play in when we own rental properties. Me going over there and doing something is not gonna benefit the situation. If anything, it's gonna make it worse. You own the house, you don't own the business running inside of the house. And there's rules, policies, and procedures, and there's a lot of laws that are governing and protecting that person living in that property. You do not have the right to go over there and pull them out or say something to them. If and when you are standing in front of a judge and all the emotions are removed, and he's reading this text message chain, you really wanna ask yourself, am I being the most professional person I can be when he's reading that, when all the emotions subside? And if you cannot honestly answer that and say yes, then I would say probably should not send that text and just remove yourselves from it emotionally.